After having battled many allegations of corruption, the UPA regime may have lost power, but charges of graft continue to haunt it. It is now facing the allegation of pressurizing the judiciary to extend the term and promote a corrupt judge. Notably, the charge has been leveled not by a rival political party, but a former Supreme Court judge, who had also served as Chief Justice of Madras High Court, Justice Markande Kadjo. In a write-up in a prominent national daily, Justice Kadju alleged that the centre in 2004 favoured a corrupt judge to prevent the government from falling. According to Kadju, the judge in question had the support of a leader of a Tamil Nadu-based political party, an ally of the UPA government. Manmohan Singh panicked, but a senior Congress minister said, don't worry, you go to New York, I'll manage. And that Congress minister went to Justice Lahoti and said there will be a crisis if that judge is not continued. So Justice Lahoti then wrote a letter to the government of India saying that he should be given one year more term as additional judge. Justice Kadju claimed that on his request, the then Chief Justice of India, Justice R.C. Lahoti, ordered an IB inquiry into allegations of corruption against the additional judge concerned, which were proved to be true. I got a lot of uh, complaints from various people that he is indulging in corruption. So I went to Chief Justice of India, Justice Lahoti, and told him that this is the information I am getting. So please get a secret IB inquiry made. And Justice Lahoti got a secret IB inquiry made and the IB report came that yes, he is indulging in corruption. Justice Kadju alleged that under ally pressure, the then government extended the term of the additional judge in question. Later on, I was shocked to know he has been given another one year term as additional judge. And why he was given one year additional term? See, I, have, I don't have any personal knowledge. But what I was told by some people was that that additional judge was being supported by a very powerful Tamil Nadu political leader. The then law minister H.R. Bharatwaj, however, denied that the then government acted in a partisan manner. While the Congress is questioning the timing of Justice Karju's allegations, the BJP is demanding a probe into the allegations. ऐसा लगता है कि वो न्यूज़ में बने रहना चाहते ऐसी कोई बात थी तो उस वक्त कहना चाहिए था आज इस बात के कहने का कोई मतलब नहीं है और मुझे ऐसा महसूस होने लगा है कि वो मौजूदा सरकार के नजदीक आना चाहते हैं शायद उनकी आत्मा जो है उनको खामोश और रहने नहीं दे रही है उनके जो एलिगेशंस हैं ये बहुत गंभीर हैं और मैं समझता हूं ये शुरुआत है और इसके ऊपर और कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए जस्टिस कार्जू स्टेनियर एज चेयरमैन ऑफ प्रेस काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया इज कमिंग टू एन एंड इन अक्टूबर ही क्लेम्स दैट द क्वेश्चंस ऑन द टाइमिंग आर डाइवर्शनरी टैक्टिक्स एंड हिज एलिगेशंस मस्ट बी प्रोब्ड ही सेज हिज मोटिव वाज टू शो हाउ द सिस्टम एक्चुअली वर्क्स एज अपोज्ड टू द थ्योरी ऑन हाउ इट शुड डीडी न्यूज़